Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports has gone wild with footies. Guys, we have an insane amount of leaks to take a look at, and we have an insane day of Friday footies ahead of us today. Like, some of these leaks, I'm sure some of you guys have seen them. These are like game-breaking, like unbelievable types of players. EA is just going all out for this last week of footies. And I'm all for it. So I want to take a look at everything that we could expect today from the game. From Summer Swap's number two rewards to a 99 rated Varan to a potential Neymar or Alan St. Maximin footies SBC. Yes, I am saying those names and they are accurate according to the leaks. Un. Believable. I'm telling you, it's crazy. So I'm not expecting all those SBCs today, and that's why I want to break it down with you guys today. But I do expect it to be a France-based week, so a French Cup probably today. A new dynamic duo, we would assume. We do not have a leak for that just yet. But of course, today is all about the SBCs. The cards that are in packs, batch three, not changing. But what I do expect with the batch three cards, with all the insane content, is probably the prices to keep pushing lower as they have done in the past couple of hours and even in the past couple of days as everybody continues to see like 2.5 mil for 99 Ronaldo, 2.5. He was 3.5 yesterday and now he's 2.5. There's price drops happening everywhere because this insane content is coming out and everybody wants to get ready for it. So we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you missed the most recent second upload, I'll link that up right now about FIFA 23, kind of deep dive into the chemistry situation and everything that we learned yesterday about that. So make sure you check that out as well if you have not. But if you're excited for Summer Swaps, two rewards today and footies, once again, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look, starting off with some of these crazy leaks, starting off with the SBC that we are most likely going to see today. Now, we thought that Usman Dembele might be the winner of the vote because that is who Foot Sheriff tweeted out first yesterday. He tweeted just a couple hours ago saying the final results of the vote are in and Rafael Varane is the number one winner. So this is the card. A 99 rated footies Varane is what we should be seeing today as our main premium footies SBC vote winner player. Today on the game, 99 rated Varan. I mean, this is a prediction. This is not the exact stats, of course, per usual, but it will be 99 rated as per the vote. That was what the whole vote was about. So he had originally leaked earlier in the day that Usman Dembele has won the vote. And then instead, he came out a little bit later and said that Varan um, had actually won and that Dembele is not number one. So, you know, it's a little bit of a mix up, but I think that's who we expected to win Varan and Dembele. So, Probably Varane today and then Dembele on Saturday unless his original leak is true and Dembele will be today. I'm really thinking that Varane is going to be today based off of what um, he posted right here. So that's really big information. So French center backs are going to be getting a makeover today. Everybody's flashback Varane is going to be put to rest as a new Varane will be coming in. Now, how expensive is this card going to be? Well, I mean, a lot of us that use flashback Varane remember his SPC price. Back in, in what was it, January? It's like 1.1 million coins. Um, you know, the Lacroix SBC that we just had was around like 80K. It was really, really cheap. You know, some of your other top tier center backs that are on the game right now, I mean, I think the most expensive center back that we still have on the market would be Moments Maldini. And that's just because he's a Moments icon, still over 1.2 million coins. I feel like that a Varane SBC today should, shouldn't really be anywhere above... 750k i mean it is the middle of august everything sbc wise has been pretty cheap except for the ferlin mendy and the griezmann and the griezmann wasn't even that bad so apart from a ferlin mendy i really hope that Varane today is like 750k or less that would mean he's probably coming in somewhere around like I, I, it could be 10 squads it really could be a 10 squad type of sbc today maybe a couple more than that we'll have to see um I just think they can't make it super duper cheap, uh, but really I guess they could because it is it is the end game and it seems like something has flipped the switch at EA Sports and they're just going to go all out. So I'm not entirely sure what, I'm going to guess 750k. That's my guess for a Varane like this. Manchester United, France, Premier League, 
you know, there's there's some potential potential overpricing that could happen there at that SBC. But that is one that we I expect that to pretty much be a, um, a confirmation of this card is coming today because Foot Sheriff leaked him um, later and said that he has won the vote indeed. So that's a really, really big leak coming out for today. Now, of course, another leak that we have right now is Neymar. And I can't even believe that I'm saying this. Footy's SBC Neymar has been added to come with position change and new traits. Now, this is just something that I want to talk about now because if this is coming, you really have to plan. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more. You got to start planning what you're going to do with your SBC fodder because not all of us have endless amounts of fodder on this game. I know it's really easy with 85 times 10s and upgrade packs and stuff. It's really easy to get a lot of fodder right now if you have coins. But fodder is not necessarily endless, and there are so many other great SBCs that are out. I mean, last week, people were like, hey, I'm going to get my swaps packs today on Friday, and I'm going to go do Ferlin Mendy. Well, now you're going to have a Ferlin Mendy, a Griezmann, you're going to have an Alan St. Maximin, most likely, and a Varan, and then a Neymar upcoming, and an Usman Dembele. Like, what? That is literally just crazy. So... Keep an eye out for this Neymar. There was a lot of leaks yesterday, and I, I did not expect to see this many leaks. I don't expect all these players today on Friday by any means, but I don't even know where to start, start to think. Where would a Neymar footies SBC come in price point wise? I would have to assume that it would be somewhere around the range of the Ferland Mendy SBC, if not more expensive. Neymar's team of the season card is already down so much in price on the market. He's under 400,000 coins. But think about a central Neymar with new traits. Maybe they're going to add like the finesse shot trait or the flare passes trait or something like they've been adding to a lot of these cards recently. But I mean, imagine a plus two or a plus three on Neymar. This is going to be a, a disgusting card and it's Neymar, right? And it's Neymar. So, you know, that has to be somewhere around the range of the Ferland Mend Mendy SBC in my opinion. So that's probably not coming today unless EA are truly going all out and releasing multiple players. I would expect that to be somewhere along the lines of next week or on the weekend per se, but just be careful with your fodder. And that's why I'm talking about this leak so early in the video is because it's so very important to be cognizant of what SBCs are out there, which ones you want to prioritize first, which ones you'd rather try to craft later on, knowing that we do have these leaks. Now, the last leak that we have right now, and this is not just a leak um, that Foot Sheriff has tweeted out, which he did. He tweeted out the St. Maximin five-star weak foot boost and a new finesse shot trait as a France card coming pretty soon. Now, not only did he tweet this out, EA Sports posted the SBC on the little infographic in-game. This is a screenshot taken from in-game. I saw this going around Twitter. It is legit. It was there. It is no longer there as I'm filtering through my own game and see it's not seeing it. This a Alan St. Maximin as a left mid is also going to be dropping. I don't know when. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty soon. They've leaked SBCs like this in the menus before. So really, there's no question of, there's no answer of when this could come out. It's just a question of, does EA Sports want to drop it today with a Varan? Or was this supposed to come out yesterday on Thursday and they messed up? I don't know about that either. So this is the Ferlin Mendy. I don't know, like the, the link to Ferlin Mendy, you've got St. Max, you got Ferlin Mendy, you've got Griezmann now, you're going to get Usman, you're going to get Varan. You can build an incredible team of just footies French players with this SBC coming out. So again, what I really expect today on the game is one SBC 100% I expect, that is Varan. I do think Varan's going to be today 99 rated. Now, between Neymar, between Alan St. Maximin, I do not know. I would only count on Varane today, but I do think that after seeing St. Maximin leaked in the menus, that would give me a little bit more positivity or um, confidence to say that he might be coming pretty soon, maybe today. So watch out for that. But regardless, that's massive. That is huge. Seriously, guys, like all those players, it's, it's almost just like content overload, even though it hasn't even dropped yet. It just seems like content overload based off of those leaks. So that's just crazy. Now, also today, we expect the France base objectives. We do not have a leak right now for uh, our next dynamic duo, which is a little bit interesting. Hopefully we do get one because um, that would be very nice to get a French dynamic duo that we, we love uh, having this every week to grind. I haven't done all of them myself, um, but you know I've done a few and they've been pretty solid. A lot of people have loved doing these, even just for fodder. And to get a, this, this game mode was really fun, by the way. Bundesliga Breakout was the long shots game mode. 
W. Um, and then we don't have another any other objective player that's leaked as well. This Casemiro expires today on Friday. And of course, we're looking for a brand new cup. Now, I finished the Bundesliga Cup yesterday. We're hoping for a France Cup today. Get your France squads ready because everything is pointing towards France. And there's even another, yes, there is another um, France kind of based hint uh, as I add Lacroix to my team. And also, I noticed I, di I did pack Shapeshifter Kanta yesterday. A little bit of dupe theory. Shout out EA Sports after having 500, 600 plus games on the team of the year. Best card in the game right here. I can only imagine how the Shapeshifter is. That's a little bit of a flex. Sorry, I'll stop. Um, but with all of that France hype that is incoming, there's one more pack actually that has been added to the code as well. And this is where I want to start talking about swaps and about packs because this was added to the code just a few hours ago and it's looking like we're getting another store token pack today. Although it is fully untradeable, it is gonna be similar to the Brazil one. Now, I, I said today, I do expect this pack to be today since it's a token pack. It's when the rewards are gonna be released. But if you remember during the Brazil week, they did not release the Brazil pack in the store until like Monday or something like that. So I don't know exactly if it's gonna be dropped today, but I'm expecting it because that's when 99% of all the token packs have been dropped this year is on a promo Friday. So, untradeable footies French pack, three untradeable gold rare French players rated 85 plus, and then you get some lone icon moments and some lone tots or shapeshifter players that are all France to help you out with that, what we assume will be a French cup today based off of this pack and the vote. Uh, and then, of course, these packs that have been added to the code are specifically related to the Summer Swaps 2 rewards and again like we mentioned with all of the insane sbcs that are going to be dropping on this game not to mention all of the you know gamble and upgrade sbcs that you have like the footies batch three times ten you've got all these 94 plus shapeshifter player picks that are out stuff like that too the fodder packs today are very very important to think about taking now i want to talk about fodder packs for a second because these rewards are dropping today Batch three, the cards that are in actual FIFA packs today are the exact same from the ones that we have had this last entire seven days. It is the same batch three cards in packs through the rest of this week and, and basically entirely through the rest of footies because I believe that this is the last full seven days of the footies promo and that's partially why EA is going all out. But like I said, with all these insane SBCs on the horizon, I would be a fan of opening your fodder packs sooner rather than later to start working on those SBCs, getting that craft done, um, and especially while there are other special cards in packs. I know today so many people are going to be interested in taking the Ben Yedder footies card as well, this 98 rated Ben Yedder, which will be 27 tokens, depending on how many tokens you have, which I do believe if I take a look at the token tracker right now, there have been a total of 27 tokens released, which is if you have done all of them is enough to get this Ben Yedder. Now, of course, I would I would assume that there's this, the store pack today, maybe one or two other tokens max. Uh, so we'll probably be at like 29 tokens in total after today's content drop. I would still be in favor of taking the packs first. Again, if you've done all the SBCs and you're like, Nate, I want Ben Yedder, then go for it. Or if your whole entire goal of grinding swaps was to get Ben Yedder, then go for it. But again, with all of the great SBCs that are out, whether you want to craft the footies Mendy, whether you want to craft Griezmann, whether it's, you know, you're going to save fodder for when Neymar comes out, whether you want to do Varane or the Usman Dembele or, you know, the Alan St. Max, but I can't believe I like still I'm naming off all these insane SBCs that are supposed to be coming. Um, just, I, I think the fodder packs are going to be the play early. And then if you want to try to grind for a Ben Yedder with the rest of your tokens or one of those shapeshifter player picks or whatever it may be, push that off a little bit till later because in the here and now with the SBCs that we look like we are getting, they look ridiculous. And I think that fodder would be very, very well used at the moment with all the SBCs that we have out. So that would be my recommendation to you in terms of the Summer Swaps 2 tokens and stuff that are going to be coming out on the game today. Now, let's talk market a little bit because also, you know, we, we know that the hype is with the SBCs. We know that the hype is with the objective and the cup and stuff like that. A lot of SBCs today, people are going to have to go and buy fodder as well. And as we take a look at fodder right now, it is doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. Last In last night's video, we talked about 84s probably dropping down in price once again. We have 84 rated cards, folks. We have them 
under 3,000 coins in the low 3,000 coin range, which is very, very low for fodder. And I just want to show you right now and, and take a look at some of these prices that fodder is absolutely in the bin. 84s, 3K, 83s are back down to 2,000 coins. 85s are 5K a piece and 86s are 6 to 7K a piece. Crazy prices on some of these cards as the top tier on fodder just continues to get smashed and to get lowered down. And I, I, I even wonder if EA is like lowering the minimums on these price ranges. I don't think they are, but like 88s for 8,000 coins, that's crazy. So I do believe though that with all of the demand today, if you think about it, you might be like, Nate, people are going to open their swaps pack today. Wouldn't fodder go down? Well, that fodder is untradeable. And if you think about all the SBC hype that's going to be a 99 Varan, all the gamble packs, like an 85 times 10, the footies times 10 batch three, still is probably going to be refreshed today as well. I would imagine they might keep that in the, in the, the uh, SBC section. I think there's going to be so much demand for fodder today and still not that much supply. There might not be any lightning rounds run. If in the second week, two weeks ago, in the second week of batch two, they did not run any lightning rounds. So they might take that same approach today and not supply the market tradable at all. And I don't think there's as many saved up packs as last week. So in my mind, Fodder is going to stay low today until the content drop. People are going to open their swaps packs. And then especially on the middle to lower tier, I'm talking your 93s, your 94s, it is going to start to go up. Because again, how are people doing SBCs right now? If we take a look at the Griezmann SBC, uh, like the 80, an 86 rated squad for Griezmann. Let's see what the cheapest um, solution is for this. 52,000 coins. Look at this. You've got a 94 and a 95 rated TOTS card. And then like 81s, 82s, 83s finishing out the rest of the squad. That's how people are doing SBCs right now for cheap is really cheap, top tier player, filling in the rest with really low tier fodder as it's been the past two weeks. I really like the low tier for another club stock today for an investment pre 6 p.m. because I think after that, everybody is gonna go into SBC mode and you're gonna see these prices go up on the game. Now, during the weekend, they could come back down maybe tonight or Friday into Saturday. They could go back down a little bit because people are going to be opening weekend league rewards and stuff like that. There will be some supply on the weekend uh, because people are playing weekend league. And uh, you saw it yesterday with the um, division rivals time frame, which we talked about in last night's video as well. Watch these guys, right? They A lot of them went down early in the morning with rivals rewards and then spiked at content like usual. I mean, Sabitzer was 5K and now he is three and a half, like crazy, crazy low on some of these cards. So, you know, do a club stock on these, put a couple on your transfer list. And I think that's a great opportunity for making coins today or just to get ahead on SBCs with all the SBCs that are going to be out. It's a great opportunity to go ahead and do that. Also for batch three cards, you know, look at these prices, guys. Like I just, I showed you the Ronaldo at the beginning of the video at 2.6, 2.5 million coins. I mean, this guy was 4 million coins. He wasn't even just 3.5. He was 4 million coins yesterday. And now he is 2.6 mil. Some of these cards are still going to fluctuate a bit on the market this morning with all of the panic selling. I mean, Marcelo's 500k. Neymar is 390 with everybody panic selling because of the leak of his SBC. Franck Ribéry, who was 800,000 coins earlier in the week. six 700k actually, not quite 800k. That was the weekend where he was 800. Um, he is now 384,000 coins. You take a look to the beginning of yesterday, he was still 490K. Prices everywhere are just down horrendous with all of these leaks, with all of these rumors, and it's the top tier cards that are down the most, right? Conte, under a million coins. You know, Messi's 1.5. Ginola is 1.5 as well. All of these insane top tier cards just keep dropping because of the SBCs that are being leaked, and, and people are wanting to go out and craft those cards because they're, they're honestly a little bit better than some of these other shapeshifters that are the top tier in the game right now. So I just think that even though the market seems so low and prices are down so much, these guys, if a Varane has dropped today, if a St. Max has dropped today, because this is pretty convincing, right? This could, we, I mean, it would seem crazy for them to drop a St. Max and a Varane on the same day. But, you know, if if one or both of those, uh, well, even if, if the St. Max has dropped today, per, for real, for real, that's really going to hurt a lot of the top tier attackers because a five star, five star same max is just going to have so much hype. So I just think that basically everything on the market is going to go even lower today, um, unless you're going to try to make a quick flip out of it. 
I think people know that the footies cards are where the hype is. Yes, there's people that are going to go out and buy cards for weekend league and stuff like that. And, you know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't halfway interested in this 99 Ronaldo, but he's a left mid, you know, and stuff like that. Well, the Messi shapeshifter card, only 1.5 million coins. Whenever Neymar comes out, you know, there might be some fluctuations. 153, like, oh my gosh, man. There might be some fluctuations with these cards that link to the SBCs. I would watch your France cards today, um, especially the ones that are not in the batch at the moment. A lot of people have been looking at like this Claude Maurice um, as a out of pack shapeshifter card that still has a lot of demand because he's not in packs and it's, it's a French week on this upcoming um, week of FIFA. So, you know, I would watch a lot of your French cards. There could be some fluctuations down with panic and then rises back up. But guys, I mean, let's be honest. The content right now just looks unbelievable in terms of some of these players. I know that it's going to be a bit expensive, but with, you know, the fodder being as low as it is, those prices on those SBCs could probably be a bit cheaper as well. And we've got the 82 plus and all the upgrade packs still going through today into tomorrow and Saturday. So they're going to be craftable. It's just going to be one heck of a Friday on FIFA with so much to do, so much hype, so much buildup. Um, I was not expecting this last week, not at all, but EA Sports has, they've done something crazy. And with these leaks, I mean, I'm trying to get as much fodder as I can because I want to get these SBCs done. And I am super excited for today. Uh, I do believe I have enough swap tokens. Let me double check because I only had, I was a couple short earlier in the week to get most of the fodder packs. Let's see, footy summer swaps, number two. How many do I have? I've got 10 there, 11, 12. Okay, I got 14. So I can do all of them except for the 86 times 15, I believe, because that's a 10 token pack and it's 21 tokens in total to get all of the fodder packs today. So I'm probably gonna do the first four fodder packs and I look forward to crafting and doing a lot of SBCs today on the game because that's just going to be what there's going to be to do with insane cards drop. So I'm hoping they drop St. Max today. I do expect them to drop Varane. We'll see what the French Cup looks like. Hopefully it's no daily limit or, you know, first two and then 10 games a day, something like Bundesliga Cup, but hopefully not super duper sweaty like we've seen some of the cups in the, in the past. It's just going to be an insane Friday on FIFA. If you're excited for today, make sure to the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. We're going to be looking at it all today at 6 p.m. content on the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash the foot account, and make sure you check that link down below in the description. But until then, it has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.